What have I done this time? You must answer for your crimes against the Doctor Who. But I haven't been in the show for decades! The crime was committed when you began, but the problem has been getting worse year after year. What did I do? You created the Sonic Screwdriver. Oh, right, um, yes, I suppose I, I suppose I did do that, didn't I? The use of the Rassilon Forsaken tool rose and dived throughout the classic era, so we paid it no mind. But with every series of the revival, it's been getting worse, with no sign of stopping or slowing down. Just give it time! Uh, you're a time lord, you must be good at that. Uh, They'll get rid of it at some point, like Davison did. I'm, I'm sure of it. As the Lords of Time, we see all possible futures. And there's only one that shows it being rid of the show. Then send me back to reality, and I'll help set them on the right path. The window for that passed two seconds ago. You did that on purpose! That is correct, Patrick, and it was bloody hilarious. Yes, yes, very amusing. Now, you must face your punishment. Very well. So, what's my punishment? Exile? Well, you seem to dislike being trapped in Doctor Who Road, and you were thrilled when you escaped a few seconds ago. So, you shall be trapped back there indefinitely, without exception. Uh, well, I, I suppose it won't be too bad this time, as it'll just be me. That is incorrect. William Hartnell is already back. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Hartnell's always good for some banter, like a... <laughs> This one time, Pertwee tried to prank him, right, by uh, kicking his walking stick out from under his feet. But instead of falling over, instead, instead of falling over, Hartnell knocked him out with one punch! That is sick! I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm omniscient. I, I know, I've, I've seen every possible future. <laughs> oh, you can drop the high and mighty attitude. It didn't take the classic series or the new series long to ruin that for you. Oh, yes, thank you, it is so annoying. One minute. With these beings beyond comprehension, with knowledge beyond anything you know. And now we're just living in a snow globe wearing stupid hairdresses. And don't forget James Rattelon Bond spitting on everyone. Right, for even referencing end of time, you've got another lifetime on top of your lifetime sentence. Oh, come on! I thought you were cool! I'm not cool, look at me! And I never want to be cool. But you know what I really am? What? Not gonna be stuck in some stupid road. Layers! No, please don't! Uh, I need my coffee. And to add insult to injury. At least I'm not Pertwee this time. Don't tempt me.